hi good day doctor so as we know we have we have been given a task to do our presentation through video so i will be representing me myself jonathan mitran sri aran and ang to talk about how i did how we collectively did this kita as the picture shown here right now it's an isometric drawing so for the question given to us was explain how we do how we do two main components so from this guitar we can exclude out eight components which is here So from this separated picture diagram, we can see there is eight different type of component. The component is the body. The body. This is called a big gut. This is called the head and neck. This this component here it's called the bridge. Whereas this is called a pick holder. a nut a peck and a tuner consists of all these eight component we can form a isometric drawing which is this kita the two main component is one body another one no is the neck and head so now i'm going to be explaining how i got this isometry view this is the isometry view for body so to explain this i would like to change to another side which is here okay this is how if how it looks if the body is exploded okay so now i just want to talk about the measurement and sort okay so the first part how do we get this shape in a basic 2d drawing we just need to draw circle this this shape is mainly consists of understanding how to do a circle for example first we have to draw two circles where this left and right hand side is radius 76 This diameter of this circle is eighty one. Radius of this this line over here, here to here, is three hundred. And this part over here, this down part, is hundred twenty six. Okay, this part of the circles is mainly used to form this type of, ah, uh, this type of drawing. So now from this type of drawing I will use the command extrude first. Why I use extrude is because I want uh, in a guitar the beginning position, the beginning position as in this side of it usually the extrude length is different. For example, for example if we can see here the part the first part over here the first part this part is 71 where we move on to the middle part the middle part is 75 and the below part is 80 why do we have this type of drawing because i with using the same requirement of a guitar a base should be a bit bigger a bit thicker so that we can put some other mechanical like microphone or a speaker in it so it will own disturb the base of the sound so that's why when we construct this we construct uh we press pull example we press pull from here to up 71 press pull from the center to up 75 and press pull the bottom part 80 okay doctor since we already know the measurement of all these three position why it is increasing the reason 
for it it's increasing now we move on to this part over here the extra space where it is flat where we can see over here this part is 64.27 and the top part is 66.67 it is similar similarly the value is the same because when we draw when we drew we use a concept of following the real object and also having the concept of making it plus minus one centi one centimeter to uh, around 10 millimeter difference so as you can see we drew that box the line over there and we extruded it we extrude it up on the other side we can see is this part over here what is this part over here this part if for a better view we can see it over here is this thing this thing is actually mainly for stabling on our leg where we can stable on, on our leg so the value to do this part is simple we just draw the top part this part over here this this value over here we took 14.47 where we use this command this center it's not circle command where we use this center we put in the center we drew we drew and we got this part whereas this part over here uh, once we draw the oval oval like shape we will draw a line in the center and we will trim out this part once it trim out we will get a part of a semi d type looking from the semi d type looking we will use press pull and we will pull it downwards so doctor when we are looking back what i have told before how do we get this shape how do we get how do we get this shape this part of the shape it's simple it's just using a circle command where we put circle overall once we get circle we have to trim it all out to form this particular shape once finding this particular shape this shape is our reference for drawing press bar for extruding it upwards following its measurement and also this will be our top layer when it's all combined when all this is combined back to its position after extrude where in this is just explode where it's all assembled into it it will look like this it will have a body like this and the body will be added in our isometric view see the same body will be added in a as a metric view doctor may be asking this is just an, on another side what is this why is this red okay the purpose we put it red is so that we and doctor can differentiate the top part one another one more is differentiate this part over here this is called pick cut this pick cut is usually used for bass where we can bang on it and there's a different type of sound will occur so the, the red part is just to differentiate it really. but other than that from my part the main component the body part we can say it will nicely fit it here for the next main component head and the head and the neck part my friend will continue explaining it thank you Greetings to Dr. Hi, Dr. My name is Sayaran. Okay, as John mentioned earlier, for my team member, I am in charge of this head and neck part. So, I will be just doing this video for my video presentation on how we rebuild this particular head and neck structure. So, just for information, uh, it's made of multiple layers okay, of design, and I'll just be going in detail with that with my dimensions. So as you can see here, this is our dimension, I mean sorry, this is our head and neck. So if you see in detail, it's more or less without the string. So we didn't really include the string, so it's just a basic neck and head. This is the basically the parts, the main part that we need to stack 
all of these together so we will get a proper head and neck a solid looking structure so here uh, whereas you can see I have uh, detailed their dimension so basically it's very simple so you can see here we just need, need a part like uh, for the base for the base you need something big like this right which is 4 to 5 mm then you just need to stack this thing onto this where you have a smaller version which is in 40 mm and 3 to 2 mm then after that we have this kind of so called um, the next structure so this next structure is very simple where you just have to align which is a 52 right and uh, you have the small version of that which is 51 so when you stack them it looks like uh, it has a lot of sequence a uh, lot of uh, lining I mean so this thing whereas you can see here right this is, is 27 this doesn't matter just at the first starting part you need to make it look very even with the same even length so you can use a comment or offset or anything then this is basically a basic line comment most of it right this is a 53 the, le the length of the bottom of the head is 53 mm then slowly after you control the whole thing everything you have to do uh, two of the drawing like you draw a head you have another one so it gives a look right so we didn't use uh, basically like any common like a press or pull we just did this then we just take it up together this is the part where for you can see from isometric view so here you can see even clearly you can see how it's the pictures like bricked right the parts are bricked uh, away from each other so it's like this so now what I'm going to do is I just going to show you that uh, how do we stack this up this is simple right so you can see here all right this thing going here this thing going here then you'll see this base going on top here this thing going here and soon this thing going here and this thing stacking up on top of that and this whole thing goes there and finally this thing goes there so uh, here you go your from top view this is our head and neck structure thank you okay doctor since we have explained me and my friend have explained how the body and how the head and neck form now we just want to show roughly show the orthography view of all eight parts moving on to our 3d isometric explode as an assembly view so for now we have our one of our uh, main component which is our body and how we are going to convert this to uh, orthography so the first thing is we go to the layout ribbon over here we will, this is already because since I have done it earlier it's already on here but to show doctor we went layout we went here standard and st style and standards we press on it with the gun we press the third angle and we press ok then later we go to the base and from model space we take it and we will get the shape once the shape is there we the can enter and we will have our orthography view from the orthography view we found we found the dimension of all this all this required measurement same like our body our bridge bridge same technique our head and neck also same technique our nut our pegs our tuner our pick guard and our pick holder all we use the same concept of bringing the two the 3d to orthography okay doctor now we are, i'm going to be talking about the 3d views which is isometric view explode view and assembly view so for this one simple the isometric view is basically the view of the project the view of the product so our product is kita so to make it see better this is our view of our product 
so moving on to our exploded view our exploded view this is our exploded view so looking at this we know we have already separated all of this uh, the component following one axis which is the y axis over here heading here all going one axis so this is our exploded view so from our exploded view if we combine it if we so called assemble it we will get our assembly view which is this our assembly view and our isometry view is the same but because of this uh, certain thing because we are following our exploded view which the axis is going this way going backwards so our assembly view we also took this picture so in return this is our assembly view in conclusion doctor our basic drawing is based on the basic of 2d and the basic of 3d which has been taught by doctor so in the basic 2d we basically use line command circle command and uh, so on where in 3d we use our press pull command most of the time and we even use uh, this coordinate this this command this command and also the view over here like to check the top go back to home to see our drawing is good or not this is the realistic view the realistic view of our looking at all of it we can say what we learned was something uh, really different because in in our diploma we have learned more on 2d only but we haven't learned a lot of 3d it's a very good exposure and a very very entertaining class to attend to it's something a new challenge every week to attend to this class i would like to behalf of my team i'd like to thank doctor for everything you have given us everything you have taught us and all the blessings you have given us thank you and good day doctor